All righty, hello, Power Life Live. My name is Jasmine. We are sculpting today, so grab yourself a set of weights or a substitute, wine bottles, cans of soup, laundry detergent, whatever works. Um, playlist to this class is in our video description, so you can have your music source, follow along, and tune in if you'd like. But we are going to get started in child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch. Open your knees out wide. Press your chest in towards the earth. And reach your fingertips long and forward. Yeah. We're going to hang up here for just a moment. Start to tune in with your breath. And tune out of the outside world. Nothing to do, nowhere to be. Next 30 ish minutes. But move, but be right here in your mind and body. 100% safe space for you to move and be free. A couple more deep breaths on your own. So just settle you into your practice. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, tabletop. Begin your cat and cows. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat pose. Round down in your spine. Tip your chin towards your chest. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Yeah, you have a few on your own. You can add in anything that feels organic to you. So, think of neck rolls, shoulder dips, hip swivels. Just take your time to feel your body. Take a full body scan and give it what it's asking you. You're here for four, three, cow pose in two, and one. Inhale, cow pose. Tuck your toes. Inhale, downward facing dog, breathe. Melt your heels low towards the earth and lift your hips up nice and high. You can place your hands about shoulder distance apart. Maybe bend your knees, walk out your dog, you feel nice and good. As you inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, sink them low. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll top of mat and breathe. Place your feet about mat or hip distance apart. Create a nice big bend in your knees and hang your upper body heavy. You can grab opposite elbows and sway from right to left. Shake your head yes and then no. Yeah, just feel the back of your leg. Find a nice good stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale, release heels to your feet to more comfortable. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, mountain pose, breathe. Root down through the four corners of your feet. Extend energy through your side bodies to lift your hands nice and high. And as you do so, relax your shoulders down your spine. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Breathe. Cactus your arms out wide. Open your chest and shoulders forward. Lift your gaze towards the top of your space. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, breathe. Stack your shoulders directly on top of your wrists. Squeeze your belly button up and in towards your spine to ignite your core. Raise your heels high over your toes. Yeah, start to feel some fire cultivate within your arms and your quads and your core. Zip your belly button up, up and in. Create a long line of energy from the crown of your head through your heels. You can hold just for four. Down dog in three, stay in it for two, and one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whoo, let's flow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank for super slow half burpees. Jump feet two hands. Stay low in the squat. Plant. Jump back. Good. You've got it at your own tempo. Start slow. You can always take this to a step. That feels better for you. I encourage you to feel empowered in that. But yeah, just start to feel the way that your breath and body connect to keep this movement slow. You're not here for long at all. Give it five, four, fast, half burpees in three, 
two, and one. Feet it up. Here we go. Bounce that first piece. Woo! This is where it's your first cardio. So start to feel your body and your heart rate lift a little bit. You've got it. You've got it. Blood pumping through. You have five, four single squats, top of mat, in three single squats in two. One, inhale lower, exhale lift, lower, lift, good, there it is. Point your toes slightly out so you can sink back and low into your hips. Squeeze your glutes, your thighs up the top. Stay lifted through your upper body. Nice, slow and controlled. Stick with your breath, inhale down, exhale up. You have five, four, pulse fit low in three, two, one, find a pulse. Pulse, pulse, good, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, just four, five, four, squat jacks. In three, two, one, squat jacks. Here we go, keep it out and in. Stay low in your legs, but high on your toes. Yeah, maintain a strong pec deck shape through your upper body. Woo, we got it, we got it. For five, four, chair pose in three, chair pose in two, and one, inhale, chair pose, and breathe. Sink your weight into your heels and stay light in your toes. Tuck your tailbone under, reach your arms up and forward. Take a breath in, exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms, breathe. So place your left hip back, hinge your upper body forward, you're in a line, so feet hip, distance, hip width distance apart, woo, words. And squeeze your shoulder blades together as you extend your hands back. Yeah. Exhale here. Inhale, star pose, open up. Exhale, horse pose, and breathe. Find a pulse. 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 Yes, you're right here. I'm coming back to you. So point your toes out and turn your heels in. The more you open up through your heels, the lower you can sink in your horse pose. It's a little bit different than a squat. So strive to align your shoulders on top of your hips. To do so, tuck your ribcage under, and then you're firing up your core. So a lot working here to keep you moving. And most importantly, stick with your breath. You have five, four, horse pose. In three, two, and one. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank, push up, side plank. Inhale down, exhale up, open up, side plank. Switch between your sides. Woo! Yeah, so a little bit of more upper body movement to continue to warm up for our sculpting portion. In your push-up, spread your fingertips out wide so you can use your palms for power. Yeah, stick with your breath. Mm. I need water too sometimes. How high can you lift your hips in your side plank so you can fire up in your obliques? You have five. Four, high plank. In three, high plank. In two, and one, high plank. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, one more side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, chair pose. Heavy in your left foot. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Breathe. Same thing here. Place your feet hip distance width apart. And this time, tune into your back foot. The higher your back foot is, the lower you can sink into your front knee. Pull your shoulders back so your chest can be nice and tall and still hinge your upper body forward. Exhale here. Inhale, star pose, open up. Exhale, horse pose, triple pulse and lift. Three, two, one, lift. Good, three, two, one, Lift, you've got it on your own. As you lift, squeeze your inner thighs towards one another like they're magnets to stay engaged through your lower body. Woo, find a small pause at the top of your thighs and your glutes. You can use your hands at heart center as a tool to stay upright through your upper body. Press your shoulders down. You've got it. You have five, four, horse pose in three, Two, and one. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank. 
Awesome work. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, all right, let's get into our weighted work. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, capture your weight. Inhale, chair pose, lawn mower squat. So step your feet out wide. Bring your weights or weight or whatever you have into your right hand. Same squat. Inhale as you lower, bend both knees. Bring your weights to your left foot. Exhale, let's raise your weight shoulder height. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good, you've got it on your own. Your options here. You can always take this down to one weight. And you can also always add a shoulder press at the top. Yeah. I honestly, it's hard for me to have a good attitude when I'm taking class and I hear lawnmowers are called out. But I know they're so good for us, so here we are. You are sculpting your legs, your core, and your arms. A triple threat for your body, and a lot is working. So I want you to focus in on your breath. Follow the rhythm of your body. Yes, slow and controlled. Maintain a flat back as you lower to protect your shoulders and upper body. So pull your shoulders down your spine. Good, keep it up. You've been in the squat before and now you have your weight. So allow your weight to sink you down even lower. You have just six, five, chair pose and four, three, two, and one. Inhale, chair pose, heavy in your right foot. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms around the world. Inhale, lower, pinky to pinky. Exhale, lift, thumb to thumb. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Woo, you've got it, keep it up. So a couple of options with your legs. You are totally welcome to do this in chair pose. You can also drop down to your back knee, hinge forward, so you can focus deeper on your upper body. But the option is yours. If you're up in your lunge, realign your front knee on top of your front ankle. Find a one to, two, one to two second hold forward and a one to two second hold back. Yes. Squeeze everything at the top. Woo! You've got it, you've got it. This is a really big movement that needs a lot of focus. Draw a really big circle around your hips. Yes, you have five. Four, lift to your highest point, crisscross in three, crisscross in two, and one, take it over, under, over, under. Whoo, try to lift your weights up nice and high above your hips. You can always take it down to no weights here, whatever feels good. Yes, you have five, four, crescent plane in three, two, and one. Whoo, exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, star pose, open it up back to you. Exhale, horse pose for bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl. Yes, you got it. So same thing, find your low horse squat that we already set up. I want there to be a little bit of a burn in your quads and brace a little bit, that's why we do this. Zip your belly button up and in to fire up in your biceps. Hug your elbows in super tight to isolate the work. Lower, three-fourths of the way down. Lift curl, three-fourths of the way up. Yes, 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 you have five. Add a squat in four. Add a squat in three, two, one. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl. Lower, lift and curl, yes. Everything lowers and everything lifts. Allow your weights to sink you down nice and low. Press your shoulders down your spine. Maintain that same control and engagement with your biceps. If you can, you can. Whoo, breathe into it. You have five, four, pulse it low, extend your weights. In three, two, one, extend your weights. Find a pulse, pulse, pulse. Good, burn it out. Press into your feet. Whoo, four, three, horse pose in two, and one, exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star pose, bring your feet a little bit closer for tricep extensions. Inhale, lower, your weight's back. Exhale, lift, press to the top. Yeah, inhale down, exhale up. So, always an option here, take it down to one weight. 
Hug your elbows in super close to your super close to your face. Drop it nice and low. Yes, micro bend in your knees. Continue to squeeze your core. Whew. Just a few more. You have five, four, star pose, and three, two, and one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank. Pull, pivot, plant your weight, top of your space. Stay for your running. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, no weights. Inhale, rise to standing. Three touchdown squat jumps. Three, star jacks. You alternate on your own count. Three touchdown squat jumps. Three star jacks. Woo! Get after it. Lots of strength training. This is where you shake it out in your body. So good, hands strong, keep it up. Use your breath, use your breath. Woo! Use this cardio to fuel you, to move you forward. Your very best. You have 10 seconds. Let's go. You've got it. You've got it. Stay in it. Two. Win it for five. Four. Step it out. In three. Two. One. Just step it out. Whoo. I guess start to catch your breath. Air high five through the camera. All right. We're going to get right back into it. So inhale, chair pose, reset. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grab your weights. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, one more squats, other side. Bring your weights into your left side. Inhale, lower, same thing to your right foot this time. Exhale, lift, pull your weights up. Immediately find the same option that you took on the other side. So maybe down to one weight, maybe you add the shoulder press at the top. Whatever feels good for you. Press your hips back. Squeeze your obliques. Maintain a nice and flat back. Good. You've got it. Slow and controlled. Well, your left side can feel like the hardest, right? Because you know what's coming, but you also know it's your last time. So finish strong. Give, finish strong. Give your left what you gave your right. Stay in the work. You will never regret it. You have five, four, chair pose in three, two, and one. Inhale, chair pose, heavy in your left foot. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms around the world. Inhale, lower, pinky to pinky. Exhale, lift thumb to thumb. Same thing, second time. Give it your very best. So maybe if you drop down on your back knee for this time, or you took it in chair pose. Whatever option you had on the other side, maintain balance in your body. The version of you that chose to stay on your lunge. Maybe we're getting it a little bit more, but I promise you've got it. It'll be over before you know it. Stay in it, stay in it. Squeeze forward and squeeze, pause the back. I love the one amount of time option because it helps me to focus on my engagement. Woo! Slow and controlled. Yes, you can. You have five. Four, pulse your highest point. And three, pulse your weight up high in two. One, find a pulse. Pulse, good, burn it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, I like to find a little pulse in my legs because it helps the engagement. You have four, breathe into it for three. Crescent plane in two. And one, exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, force pose, hammer curl. Inhale, see lower. Exhale, lift, curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Woo, lower. Lift, squeeze. Nice. So your biceps are big muscle. They can take a lot. Because of that, when we work out our biceps, we have to confuse them. A hammer curl is still working your biceps, but in a different way that helps bring you to a greater fatigue that builds you stronger. So same thing. Squeeze your biceps the entire time. Lower three, force down. Lift, curl three, force up. Allow your weights to sink you down low into your squat. Pull your shoulders up and back. 
Yes, smile through it. We've got it. We're so close. Whew, heck yes, heck yes. You have five, four, add your squat in three, two, one, inhale, everything lowers, exhale, lift, lower, lift, squeeze. The same added squat here. Strive to bring your thighs to be parallel with the mat. Good. You've got it, you've got it. Press your shoulders down. Woo! You have five. Pulse it low in four. Pulse it low, extend your weights in three, two, one, find a pulse. Pulse, burn it out. Squeeze, squeeze. Yes, lower, lower. Squeeze in your glutes for four. I feel it. For three, horse pose. In two, and one. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star pose. Bring your feet closer together. Shoulder press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, drop. Exhale, up. Woo! So, this is your last weighted exercise. Yay, we did it. Stick with it. This is like your victory lap of class. So, as you lower, drop your elbows to uh, drop your elbows to shoulder height. I almost said elbows to elbow height. Kind of. Elbow to shoulder height, and as you press, pull your shoulders away from your ears. That's where the work is. I am a baby when it comes to my shoulders. So, I like to spread my fingertips out wide so I can just focus on the work and be kind to my shoulders. So, take the option that suits you here. Inhale down and exhale up. Same thing, stick with your breath. You have five, four, star pose in three, two, and one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank. Pull, pivot. Plant your weight straight into burpees. Let's go. Pull burpees. Last Corey. Straight into it. Straight into it. Woo! Find a big explosion at the top of your space. Jump back to a strong high plank form. You can always take this down to a step, whatever feels good for you. But your last cardio, have a party with it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stick with your breath, stick with your breath. You can, you can. Change the narrative right in your head. Give it your very, very best. We have five, four, high plank in three, two, and one, I think stay for your breath in. Exhale, drop down to your knees, make your way onto your back, crunches. Move your heels into the earth. Inhale, fingertips behind your head. Exhale, lift, crunch up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Yes. Press your lower back into the earth. And lift your shoulder blades up nice and high, that way you can get into your upper core. That's what we're working. Stay light with the grip behind your head. Nice. Ground down into your feet. Slow and controlled. Big exhales with every lift. Woo, I am sweating from the studio. You have five, four, pulse it high in three, pulse your highest point in two, one, find a pulse, pulse, squeeze, squeeze, good, lift, lift, Woo. for five, four, rope climbers, legs up the wall in three, two, and one, rope climbers, reach, opposite hand to opposite foot, reach, reach, so good, how high can you lift up? Squeeze your obliques on every single twist. Who I know you're working hard. Flex through your toes as so you have a nice maybe cup of coffee, maybe wine glass on top of your feet. Send energy through your hands. Who heck yes, heck yes. You have five, four, reverse crunch, leg lower in three, two, one. Inhale, lower your toe. Exhale, let's reverse crunch to the top. Yes, inhale down, exhale, lift, reverse crunch. Good, same thing, squeeze your legs towards one another. The tighter you become, the lighter you become. So, you'll feel your legs lighten up. As you lower, flew your low back to the earth. You can always place your hands underneath your low back to hold yourself accountable. You got it. Your up level option here as you do your leg lower is to lift your shoulder blades up nice and high. And your reverse crunch. So much control from your lower core. Act as though you are stamp the ceiling directly above you. No more, no less. Whoo, we got it. We got it. Give me five. Four flutter kicks in three. Flutter kicks in two. One, five.
time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can, you can. Yes. Just a few more. Five. Four. Last work in three. Hollow hold crunch. In two. One. Inhale, extend your toes and forward, back. Exhale, lift. Right knee to chest. Touch your fingertips behind your thigh. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. You got it on your own. Woo! That's a lot for your core. Upper, side, and lower. Triple thread. You've got it. Big, deep breaths. This is where you finish. With clocks. Stay in it. Find the burn. You have five, four, hold your hollow hold in three, two, and one. Just hold. Hold and breathe. Breathe. Stay elevated through your chest. Press your low back into the earth. You can find your shaking point for five. Full body stretch in four, three, two, and one. Ha, ah, full body stretch. We made it. Air high five to the camera. Ooh. Let's start to cool down. So inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Exhale, supine figure four. Bring your right ankle to your left knee and pull your left knee in towards your chest. You can always find a bind. My wrists don't like that, so I always just pull my left knee forward. Yeah, but you point your toes, protect your joints, relax your shoulders. Just feel the stretch in your right hamstrings and outer glute. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your legs to your left side for supine twist. Breathe. You can maintain this form, or maybe you stack your hip or stack your knees on top of one another. You drop your gaze down your right shoulder. Maybe you shut down your eyes and just breathe into your right side body. Exhale here. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Exhale, supine twist, other side. And stay. Yeah, align your hips on top of one another. Open up through your left side. Relax your shoulders. Exhale here. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Find happy baby. You can grab your ankles or shins and let your hips go out wide. Maybe rock from side to side. Extend your legs. Yeah, make it feel nice and yummy. As you inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And exhale, find your Shavasana. Ah. Take up space. Start to release through your neck, your shoulders, your back. And let your mind float away. I will pull you out in a moment. fingers and toes, relax your wrists and your ankles. As you inhale, reach your arms up overhead, full body stretch. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. You feel whole and complete just as you are in your practice. Feel your heartbeat in unison with your breath. Thank you for making this time for you. 
what if they're the same without you? Raise your hands if they're nice We honor one another and say, Namaste. Woo, awesome job. Thank you for joining.